Hey, Wizards, it's Kieran Trocaller, and I'm here for the next episode of the Myth Walkthrough, and I've got, um, well, and I've got some fun. Let's go ahead and talk to Edith, and then we'll, t we'll catch you guys up here after we get our new quest. You've got the pieces of the portal. Yes, yes. We can restore access to the Grand Plaza. Fantastic. You repair it now with the pieces you recovered. It should be easy to do. Okay, well, because obviously we know how to do this stuff. Okay, so let's hop over here. And we are repairing the portal. Let's repair it. You replace the missing pieces. Ah, uh, there we go. Portal. Now it's working. Okay, let's go tell Edith the good news. She'll be a little bit happier. Apparently, we're the jack of all wizards. Jack of all trades, you know. We're all wizards. Yeah. Stella job. Aha. Very good. I hate to send you packing when you just got here, but those are needed to open the Stellarium. Very good. Go and speak to Thornton Lewis in the District of the Stars. He'll be ever so grateful to see you. Very good. Okay. Thornton Lewis in the District of the Stars. Well, that's what we're going to do, guys. Let's go talk to Thornton Lewis in the District of the Stars. It's right up here on this place, that portal we just opened. Yeah, let's hop in here. So we are now in part two of Celestia. Let's go see what type of help Thornton needs. Oh, dear. Who are you? you oh, barking <laughs> Matt. Matt. <laughs> it's a madhouse down here, to be certain. It's the sharks uh -huh. that are Oh, the we got sharks now. Great. They call themselves the Piscean Guard. Piscean Guard. Okay. It's an empire. empire. Okay. Whatever that is. Uh, we've met them. They've prevented us from our main work. Okay. Surveying the region and learning what we can about Celestian culture. Very good. I assume you're here to rescue us and to learn uh -huh. about the Celestian magic. Yes, I would like that. If you want to rediscover the secrets of Celestian magic, then you must become one of us and explore. Oh, our excellent! First lesson, okay, we gotta observe. Oh, I like this. Is undoubtedly the key to entering the area beyond. Very nice. Would you be so kind as to go and survey that monolith and return here with your findings? Very good, and before we get all kippy, let's go ahead and take a snapshot of this place. This place is looking pretty nice. Yeah, let's take a picture, for sure. Awesome. Okay, now let's go ahead and survey this monolith and figure out what's going to take to fix it. Yeah, you notice how it like wants you to go right through all the sharks? Uh huh. I'm the sure. Monolith is ancient. Uh huh. Upon closer examination, oh, fairly fresh. The broken edges look. Fairly fresh. Yes, let's walk around the sharks again. And let's go let Thornton know what we observe. We observe that the brakes are fresh. How interesting. I the know. The deal of what explorers do is collect pieces uh -huh. of rubble and try to rebuild broken artifacts. Sounds you good. You see, the Celestians were very big on building secret meaning into their architecture. Mm, okay. Before. Even their city layout. You can read okay. a lot about a culture from how they build their walls, floors, floors and, ceilings. and ceilings. Okay. Messages hidden everywhere. Well, let's figure this out said, then. If the monolith has recently been broken, then it is likely the work of the sharks of the Piscean Guard. I would agree. They are crude vandals, always chopping at the Celestian artifacts and architecture, using uh -huh. pieces of stone for currency. Oh, that's terrible. Sometimes being an explorer is investigation, and sometimes it's throwing a bit of muscle Ooh, around. Ooh, we get to throw some muscle? You go and recover some of the pieces of the broken monolith from the Piscean Guard? I guess so. Let's go ahead and jump into these. I'll be back here after I throttle a few of these guys. Okay, guys, we just thrashed those guys. Let's talk to Thornton. Great work. I think you got all the missing pieces. Awesome. Lesson two, restoration or rebuilding that which was broken. We'll first need something to fuse the pieces together. Okay, the what do we got? Protectors were made Ooh, by the okay, so they're still, still up and running. running. They're just suits of metal animated okay, by so, power motes oh, within their bodies. Okay. The power motes should provide enough energy to fuse the piece of the broken monolith together. Okay, so we got to collect Could power motes together. Collect a few power motes from inactive stellar protectors. No need to damage an active one. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this real quick, but then we're going to go there ahead and do the other. So let's do, there's an inactive protector right there. One mode from him. I bet you there's another one over here. Or actually just around the corner here. I bet you there's a there's an inactive one. Yes, there is. Let's go ahead and grab his from him. Ooh. Love double reagents. Too bad I didn't get to I didn't get to take quite advantage of them as I normally would. And there's one more inactive protector. There we go. So now let's talk to Thornton Lewis right over here. And um, let him. Uh, I hate these ramps. Let him let him tell us what to do. 
Uh, those should do the trick. Good. Hmm, these power moats must be treated with extreme heat before okay. we can use them to... Hmm. Where will we get that kind of heat? Blimey! Ah, I yes, the Star Forge. The Star Forge. It's still burning after all this time, and it'll serve perfectly. Okay. Take those power moats to the Star Forge. Uh -huh, and, and bathe, bathe them in them flames. In flames. Be careful. That's incredible power at play. Okay, let's go find the Star Forge, guys. I think if we go around the corner here. Now, um, what's great about this area of Celestia is it opens you up to um, this section just around the corner in here. Oh, is that the Star Forge there? Okay. Um, where you can actually get cards and stuff. I guess we'll do that part later. Let's go to this forge right here. There it is. One Star Forge. You treat the power moats within the Star uh -huh. Forge in short order. They're ready for use. Fantastic. Now let's take him back to Thornton Lewis and give him those charged up moats. Moats, yes. Yes, that's what they are. They are moats. Okay, go for it. Those should do perfectly. Fantastic. I've reassembled the pieces of the broken monolith, but the okay. translation is a bit, bit of a bother. bother. Okay. So could you do us both a favor and uh, go to the Astral, Astral Archive? Archive? That's what I was talking about. Knowledge. Speak to the archivist there. It's sort of a talking library catalog that will tell you what you need to know. Fantastic. And one of the cool things about opening this section of Celestia, guys, is that it opens you up to the archive, which we're getting ready to go talk to. Now, the archive is not just, you know, a questing archive, but it is also your librarian. You know, in some of the other worlds, if you find the librarian, you can buy cards. Well, that's what we got right here. Here in the Astral Archives, we've got the Archivist, which is also a librarian, and it also sells you treasure cards. I am the Archivist, mm -hmm. the construct to aid research in the Astral. Based Very on good. The of your request, I have prepared Ooh. courses of instruction. Uh, okay, we have to go through courses of instruction. The stations are devoted to contrivances, conflict, and configuration. And okay. You may utilize them in any order. Any order. Okay, it looks like we have to do this before we can do anything else. So let's go find the Preceptor of Conflict. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a lot of help, isn't it, right? Ooh, perfect. No pull. Okay, there is the Preceptor of Conflict. Though the people of Celestia exist in harmony with the universe, mm -hmm. the other worlds of the Spiral are not... Celestia's magic okay. touches the very Spiral, spiral itself. itself. And for this reason, it is coveted. Very good. To mount a proper defense, uh -huh. Celestia must understand conflict. Uh, uh, okay, all forms. all forms. The preceptor has a great deal to say about all manner of conflict. Yeah, I'm sure it does. From wars to magic duels. Eventually, the lesson ends. Thank goodness. Okay, now we have to go find this preceptor of configuration. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and follow this around this way. Yep, 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 yep. And guess what? Preceptor of Configuration. Right here. Let's do this thing. Okay, hopefully this one's a little more interesting. Celestia's greatest achievement mm -hmm. is its mastery okay. of astral magic, conjuring power from the stars, moon, moon. and sun. Okay. Celestian magic is intrinsically tied to an understanding of astral configuration. Okay, and the movement the of these celestial bodies. The lesson continues for quite a while, teaching you about the nature of the worlds of the spiral, the stars, and the sun. Very so good. Much to learn. And the lesson, and the ends. lesson ends. Okay, guys, that went pretty good. Now we just have one one more to go and I think if we buzz around here we're going to find it yeah just over here in this way nice 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 of course you know we got sharks and everything like wandering around you know looking all menacing and everything but here we go the preceptor of contrivance among the greatest of celestial uh -huh. achievements is the creation of magic Artif artifacts okay or, or contrivances. contrivances these contrivances are mm -hmm. essential to celestial yes they are and are marvels are they now and very good this goes on for a while oh boy manner schematics, schematics plans, plans diagrams and diagrams flash before your eyes until at last the lesson ends thank goodness now i can get on to business back to thornton lewis guys i'll be back in a minute Okay, guys, here's Thornton. You look like you've been hitting the books. Yes, I did. Did you learn anything? All sorts of things. Now that you've a working knowledge of Celestian, okay. we can determine how the broken monolith relates to the Very good. understanding context. Is vitally, vitally important. important. Sure, sure. You must know not only how something works, okay, but, but what is the, the meaning? Picture. The okay. broken monolith has many marks. Ah, and they're similar to those in the Chantry. In the chantry. Okay. And may be significant. Eventually. You go and survey the Chantry to see what might be learned of the area. Return here with what you've learned. 
Okay, guys, we're going to go find the Chantry, and then I will bring you back in. Okay, guys, here is a Chantry. Pretty cool. This has some neat things in here, you know, that go along with the whole lore of the spiral and stuff. Let's see if we can sneak past all these sharks. Oh, there's a bug and a bunch of them. Okay. And over here to this part right here. Very good. Okay, so you let's check the it out. Observatory. Using the powers of observation, uh -huh. the mosaic on the floor appears Yeah, it looks like there's something the cool. Emphasis, awesome. A closer look. Okay, so look, that the one. Mosaic is clearly the key to yes, the secret message. it is. Unfortunately, it looks like many of the mosaic plates are missing. They are missing. They're there, the meaning would be clear. Like, look at this one. It looks kind of like um, Dragon Spire. And if we look over here at this one, Crocotopia. So these are the different worlds of the spiral right here. Mushu, nice, see? It, it's worth checking out, and that's a spiral, I guess? Okay, so let's go talk to Thornton Lewis. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, here's Thornton Lewis. So, what did you learn? <laughs> All sorts of stuff. You say someone stole the shiniest and brightest plates of the mosaic? Yes, Given they are what gone. We know about the sharks. They're likely the culprits. Most likely. So you want me to go thrash I some? I think you know what to do. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Some of those Piscean troopers until you recover. Be sure to look around the rest of the chantry as well. Okay, those guys. We'll often hide things from their rivals. I'll be back as soon as I thrash some Piscean troopers. Be back in a minute. Okay, guys. So we took care of those Piscean gar, those. Yeah, Piscean Troopers, right? And we got some stuff that we can go ahead and add to the Ors Orrery here in the Chancery. So let's head back over here to the Grand Orrery here in the Chantry. Chantry? Yeah, whatever it's called, right? Ooh, let's stay away from them. Oh, not there? We have to put it over here? Okay. Yeah, this place gets kind of confusing here. Okay, so let's go right over here to the Orrery. Here we go. You find a small mosaic tile ah, wedged into the gears of the ore. Found another one. Nice. Okay. So let's sh search the shark hut for tiles. There's a shark hut down here. Okay, let's do that. So we found another tile. I think, I guess that's what we're doing is we're gathering all the tiles. First, we had to fight some troopers. Then we found that one, one there. And then there are some shark huts down here. Okay. Let's see here. Shark hut, shark hut. Let's look in here. A shark must have used this place. Ah, uh, yes. A small cache of mosaic tiles, perhaps to barter with. You well, take them. not anymore. Okay, back to Thornton. Be back in a minute. Okay, guys, here's Thornton Lewis. Let's talk. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, uh, yes. Recovered all the missing mosaic pieces. I got them all, yay. Now you're ready to restore the mosaic floor to its former state. You got it. Head on into the chantry and see about putting the pieces back where they belong. That should put us ahead of the game. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, here we are. We are back, so let's go ahead and add the mosaics back in. Oh, very cool. So we've added back in Grizzleheim. Very nice. Let's see here. Oh, look at this one here. Huh, I wonder what that one is. Not quite sure. Clock tower. Ooh, I'm not sure what that one is. That one's different. Okay. Let's see your Mushu. Oh, you know what? That was Marleybone with the clock tower. I should have known. Okay. Very good. Um, there's Wizard City right there. Spiral over here. What do we have there? That must be Celestia. Very nice. And they're, they're of course, Dragon Spire. Very cool. Well, it doesn't show us all the worlds of the Spiral, because there are many more than these, but it shows us the ones we've come to yet. Pretty interesting. No foreshadowing there. I'll be back with you guys here in just a minute. Okay, guys, Thornton Lewis. Excellent work. You're the best student I've ever taught. Uh, fantastic. You've done much to earn your way into the Stellarium, but you're not done. Oh, no. I've taught you all I can, and the okay. next steps are yours alone. Fantastic. Go to the Astral Archive and see if you can catch some more out of that archivist. That should set you on the right path. Okay, guys, let's go check on the Astral Archive and see where we are at. Hopefully, you'll be able to give us some more information so we can move on to the next step, right? Tell you what, these quests, they're all over the place. And, yes, into the Astral Archives. There we go. 
Okay, and there it is. The Archivist. Let's talk to the Archivist. I am the Archivist, the mm -hmm. construct to aid research in the astral world. Very good. I am the Archivist, a construct Ooh. created to aid research in the astral. My oh. empathic okay. array detects that you are here searching for a Yes, I need to go into the Stellarium. Stellarium is only Celestian citizens are permitted under Oh, so I have to become a citizen. Temporary access to the Stellarium may be granted by allowing an empathic scan to okay. determine suitability. Please present yourself to the preceptors of, of configuration, conflict, and try to Okay. Once finished, return uh -huh. with the tokens, tokens of success. successful completion and place them in the security plinth. Fantastic. The have been activated and are ready for your use. This is awesome, but unfortunately, guys, this is all the time I have for today. So I hope everybody's had a good time. Thanks for hanging out with me. We are going to continue our journey through Celestia so that we can help the expedition figure out what's going on down here. And I can't wait to solve some more mysteries. So this is Kieran Trollcaller playing here on the Myth Walkthrough. I hope you guys have a great day and a great evening. Thank you very much. Catch you later. Bye-bye.